Paid me in, baby. All right. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. What is... Fixed it. <laughs> Got it. Nailed it. Nailed it. Nailed it. You're going to have to quit looking that way. Yeah. It's, it's bothering me. I'm going to have to put another TV over there, am I? Oh. So that you're not looking at that TV. No, I think it's actually going to be better. That you're not looking at it? Yeah, because I'm in my bounce between you and my camera. That's it. Good. Yeah. I'm probably going to move my camera right underneath the TV so I can look at the TV. Okay. Because so welcome to, to the welcome to our same set new set. Yeah, well, I'll give you a brief overview in a YouTube short. You'll have to tune into that. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. So here's oh, actually, I'm camera one now. Oh, I've I've always oh You've, no, you were yeah okay. <laughs> now I'm camera one. Hello, I'm camera not, one. Yes, and I'm camera three. And you are camera number three. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. We could just switch the cords. Yeah. Honestly, that one's long enough. Yeah. But our cameras are labeled per the cords. So I just need to keep it all the same. Then you just move you the know, camera. I, I have a little, I exactly have to move it all because I've got to. <laughs> no, be you just got to like. Yeah, you move the whole, th the whole setup. You just don't not the tripod, just no. take the camera yeah, off. Yeah, just take yeah. the camera off. Anyways. It's not that hard. Yes. You overcomplicate so, things. Yeah, we have a whole nother wall. Mm hmm This actually looks like the same wall, but it's actually a different wall. And the old wall is over there. Yes. I'm gonna move this closer. Okay. Perfect. Now I can put my feet on something. So, what's been going on today? Really? You have to do that in the middle of the recording. They can't see any of those things. Just because you can see them doesn't mean they can. They could. I could see it. I checked the basket and right. shot. So those lights no longer work. <laughs> yeah, they do. Or maybe not that one. But the rest <laughs> of them are no, Maybe not that one, huh? Yeet! <laughs> it looks so much better. Uh, that's exactly why you need to look at that camera. <laughs> I had to check it. So I'm sitting over here and I'm looking at hannah's painting that she made for me uh -huh. the sunflower and i'm thinking because now that we've brought the couch back to the our original setup uh i very much love that i'm thinking if i couldn't get her to paint a lark because the background of it is black yeah i'm wondering if i couldn't get her to paint on a huge size canvas yeah we just go pick one up a big ass sunflower yeah I, I want one painted by her. Yeah, yeah. a big ass sunflower on a big canvas. On a big canvas. Well, I'm thinking like With two large canvases side by side. Or half it? Yeah. Do the other half on yeah. another? Oh, that would be good. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think that'd be really cool. And then we could change those lights on that couch to have that orange yellow color that I was testing out earlier. And that orange would look good on there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I And then on this wall, that way we really truly have two different setups. On this wall, we hang our logo sign that okay. we're having made. Oh shizzle. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, cool. I'll have I'll I'll put in my request. Yeah. Yeah, take it to the box office next door. Yep. So what's up, girl? Man. What'd you do today? Uh <laughs> so we decided at the beginning of July, before school started in August, when we had all of our babies back, that we were gonna do a household reset. Yes. And if you guys go back a couple podcasts, we talk about how we completely deep clean, deep cleaned the home together. Decluttered the home. Decluttered, deep cleaned. The house feels good. It's got good energy, good vibes. And we're a large, busy family. Like, it's, it, it, we're lucky if, at, when, so the bet, kids go to bed at nine, and you and I are lucky if we crawl into bed at 11. When? When it's school, when it's school season. When it's school season? Yeah, when it's school season, sports season, whatever. Because, you know, our day, we split our day up. And so we go from, like, we do 
So they go to school. We get them all dropped off by like 745. And then pickup for us starts at like, what, 245? Yeah, so drop off and pickups roughly an hour and a half, two hours. It was last on. year. We'll see what it looks like this year. And the first week is still going to be extremely difficult as it is every year. I really wish somebody would put together, maybe I need to do it. Maybe you can help me film it, a skit for how to use the car pickup line. That I think I would make us go viral. It. That would truly make us go viral, I think. I don't mind filming it. This is how you do this shit. Don't do this. Do this. Do this. I think that's what we have. Well, the first, it. so the first day of school, we should definitely video, like, make sure it's okay with the school. Oh, God, no, you just video. You don't need to do it with a, just do it with what, a phone? Yeah. So I drop you off first and then come through the line? Yeah. Okay. So well, this is how you don't do shit. And this is how we do shit. Yeah. Get the fuck out. <laughs> So I'll have a camera rolling in the car, and you'll have the camera <laughs> yeah, rolling at the, exactly. at the end of the Exactly, and then we'll, we'll, we'll edit it. And then I'll just pick you up on the way out. There you go. That'll work. That will work. All right. Game plan initiated. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool, yeah. We will have to write the we'll have to write the shot list that we're going to need in order to do that. It'll yeah. probably take us a couple days to get it. But... So we just do random shit like that. Yeah. Faithful. Faithful. But no, okay, so off track but so we have five kids they all go to different schools it just takes a while but so we had a conversation and summer is what it is they go see other parents and we just or other people i mean other they people. see yeah grandparents exactly other parents yeah um whatever whatever they're doing they're they're not here yeah so we took july and we took advantage of it we did we reevaluated us in our relationship mm -hmm. we had a lot of really good conversations we also set a lot of goals not that we needed like i want to back up to that okay reevaluating us like we uh, had an issue oh no we didn't have an issue no. by any means <laughs> no 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 that's not at all what i meant and i didn't mean it to come across that way it's just the fact that it's like hey we need to evaluate because we are going into a season of change. Well, so those of you who don't know us. Welcome. I'm Jen. I'm Jason. And our backgrounds are not this. No. Um, I have a, a heavy construction background. Yes. Uh, I'm not a techie person, although I kind of am kind of not. I mean, you started off in the AV world. I didn't start there. I kind of, I'm, I'm. I ventured through there. Oh, okay. If you will. There you go. Um, it's a good skill to have, though, for electrical. It is. No, uh, it doesn't integrate well with electrical, actually. No, it on doesn't. the level of electrical. That I'm just talking I was about doing. like the neatness and like the precision and like yeah. that. So that's the part of this room that it's got to be like. Oh, yeah, your perfect. skin's crawling right now. Yes. Yeah. I hate what I'm seeing in the background. <laughs> yeah, I love my little. But I my know that I'll fix it. This was just a scramble to get like, all right, it's midnight. Yeah. We need to record some shit yeah. tonight. And I love my new tiny desk. It's you, though. It is me. Like, you are a minimalist. I am. And too much area for you equals clutter. Yep. Equals, I'm not going to touch it. Oh, I, would, I just won't work there. <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just leave it as a landing station for all of the shit to pile up. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have a place to sh for shit to pile up, you'll execute it, I think. Yes, I think. I know I will. And I really very much love this desk. So I actually made this desk. And it means a lot to me because I actually made it. So and I fixed it for you. You did fix it. So it had an oil stain on it. And it's a butcher block top desk. It's actually and really nice. It's really heavy, but it's really nice. Yeah. It's cast iron on the bottom. Yeah. Do you know what that is? That's an antique sewing machine bottom. That looks like it. It is. Yeah. And um, it used to have the foot pedal, but I took that off because you couldn't put a chair underneath it. Yeah. But yeah, it used to have the foot pedal on it that you would. Um, but yeah, I took the, because the um, the cabinet that used to go on it, because mm -hmm. they all came together, the cabinet that used to be on it just completely disintegrated. That's how old it was. But cast iron's cast iron and, and then it's coated, it's painted, it's beautiful. All right, we're uh, off topic again. Sorry. Back to, uh, I love we're back desk. to school. Yeah, back to school. So we, all of our babies are home. And I'm so happy. So, so happy. We, all of them. All of my babies. And we have our full five. Yes. All of my babies are here. So total party of seven. Yes. We have our full five. Yes. It makes me so happy. 
And they are so happy. They are. So before, you know, in July, like I said, we we were prepping mm-hmm. and we were like, hey, we're going to have a mind shift change. We're going into a season of change. We're All going of- to have a household change. Yes. We're going to have, well, and again, where I was going with what I was saying is this is not our background. This is not what like we grew up doing or we really know a whole lot about. It's not like we're seasoned into this. No. By any and means. And we didn't go into this with huge followings. We actually didn't go into this thinking that this was going to be it. We actually set the mind frame for this was for our business podcast. Yeah. And we literally have desks set up. Yes. To do desk podcasts. Yes. With clients. Yep. Or even Zoom meetings or yeah. what what have you. Originally, there was going to, not, only going to be not... a two camera set up, one on each desk, a camera on each desk, mm-hmm. and a mic. And the mic stands are still mounted to my desk. Yes. With the headsets. Yeah. <laughs> with no mics. Well, it's because I borrowed <laughs> the mics for the set. Yeah. So we'll need to, so, I'll need to replace those. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I don't even know that we'll, yeah. Maybe we use it. Maybe we don't. I don't yeah. know. I like, I would rather sit here than at a desk to do this, anyways. Right. It just feels more comfortable, but there's going to be times where we to, need that, though. I think eh, I doubt it. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, that was fun. Um, so because we can record Zoom meeting from this, we sure can. Yep, these oh, are yeah. our webcams. That is true. I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah, and then and, they get both of us. Yes, and to that, I was also going to say like, the, and we're comfortable. Yes, the cameras, and you were talking about the desk setup, like. It's not a webcam. It's a thirty-seven hundred dollar camera set up on the desk. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's a very very beautiful picture, and you look very very professional. You do when you yeah, and your mic's on point, and then um, each one of our desks had a very like a a, a studio lighting setup package yep. and then the way that the cameras was positioned it blurred out your background just enough so there was some depth like a beautiful imagery so today yeah oh, after today. we got yeah so all the kids well after we got all the kids here so to, we I did went, dinner time i went to the skating rink you did i went and had i went and saw my best friend and hung mm-hmm. out with her let them see miles and stuff and everything and got out of the house for a minute and then you asked me how the drive was because we live. And why does the person that your soul is connected to always live so fucking far away? She, she's so far away. Um, yeah, but she, it was an hour and 30 minute drive out to her just to see her. Yep. And I was there for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours, just chilling, hanging out. And it was nice. But that drive, it was in dead silence. Yeah. Well, you get a- But you get a lot done in the silence. I do. And I do too. So every time I leave the house, and it's very weird because you and I work the same. Mm -hmm. If I leave the house by myself, I complete at least 10 tasks within the first 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. And these are tasks that have been sitting on on my to-do list for, I don't know, a month or so. Right. And then all it takes is for me to get in a vehicle by myself and boom, they're done. Yep. And they fall off. And it's like, whew. Why didn't I do that sooner? Great. Yeah. But sometimes all it takes is just leaving by yourself. And Honestly, I know you don't like to leave by yourself. I don't. But I did today. And it helped. It did help. It did. And so. And it also gave you a yeah, perspective. It did. To do a little bit of soul searching, if you will. Mind mind shift, mind change. Just some thinking. Yeah. Why you're by yourself. You don't yep. have anybody else's opinion coming at you. No. Or any dialogue. It's no. just you and your head. Yep. And sometimes I think that's good. Yeah. And I, like I said, I didn't even turn the radio on or a podcast or anything. I was just sifting through the weight of my mind. Yeah. Can we pause for a second? It's the dogs. It's fine. She just lets them. Oh, okay. Um, so, and then I came home and little Jay had finally gotten home. He was yes. here. And then uh I missed him. He was gone for a whole month. Yeah, I know. I know. He was so excited. Was he? It he was, was so excited to see you. It was so cute just that he called me. I yeah, thought it was he, you calling no, me. No, he was like, I need to call mom. Mm. I, while he's gone, I'm not allowed to have communication. So I I get nothing. 
I you hardly, get something. I hardly get anything. I was going to say, you just get something. I'm not going to say a lot. I'm just going to say you get something and then I get nothing. And it, it breaks my heart. I mean, I, I love him. Yeah. He is my child. I care for him in the exact same way I do everyone. Yes. So it, it does make me sad and break my heart, but I tried to stay as busy as possible. So the first thing, well, not the first thing, but it was one of the first things that he wanted to do whenever he came through the door is he wanted to, you know, obviously connect with me for a minute. Yeah. And then he even him and Hannah hugged it out for a solid five minutes. That's awesome. And I mean, he's just, he's so grateful to be home. Good. And it's all over him, you know, yeah. it's, I'm going to touch on this okay. briefly okay, because it's important to give context in my mind. Okay. She didn't even have the, the respect for this child, his mother, his biological mother, to drive him as it's court ordered herself. She made her mother do it. And then it's Sunday, mind you, told my son that she was too busy and had to work. She's in roofing. Mexicans, I'm sorry. They're the roofers. I'm not really sorry. It's their job. But Mexicans are roofers. Typically, they don't and work they on don't Sundays. They work they don't work on Sundays. They they are very they devout. Are church. Ca- they're very devout Catholics, and they are in the they're they in those pews. Yeah, they don't do this shit. That's an interesting concept. So it got underneath my skin the fact that it's court ordered for her to do the driving. One and two that she didn't spend the last couple of hours that she could have with him yeah it just it keeps adding the mm, it just keeps adding the bullshit effect that she's just not the fit person to be in his life it pisses me off and it shows me that the grandma his nana is the only person that's really fighting for him. And I know she takes good care of him. So I'm not sitting here dissing her. Because his grandmother does take good care of him. Make sure he has what he needs. Make sure he's doing whatever he can do. But, I mean, we got to be honest. About her age. And he has no other kids over there to even play with or interact with. So... For an entire month, this child's on a device. And this is his only source of entertainment as a device. Mm-hmm. Unless they take him to go do an activity, and they did go do activities. They did. I'm just saying, he's so happy to be here and yeah. to have his siblings. Mm-hmm. And he even spent, like, so back to him walking through the door. He came to me first. And then it was to Hannah. And then it was to Miles. After you guys got here. Um, But before y'all got here, he's like, after Hannah, I need to talk to mom. Mm -hmm. Where's she at? Yeah. Is she in the office? No. She thought, he thought you were actually here. Oh. Because he heard the vacuum cleaner. He heard Roomba going. Oh. Is mom vacuuming in the office? I'm I'm, going to go, I'm going to go talk to her. Yeah. No, like, no, and buddy, I that's, tried. That's Roomba. Based off of the information that I got before I left, I planned my arrival back here to be here at the time of which he was going to be here. But then his arrival time changed, and I was already so far away. Yeah. So I was trying to be here, and I, I, know I only missed by like forty-five minutes. So it wasn't like, oh, you knew he was coming, and you didn't want to be there. No, that that's not it at all. Like the information that I got was a different time. Well, the information that I got was a different time. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. I understand. I understand. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so, I just thought I would touch on that for a minute because it's it's been kind of eating at me a little bit today. Yes. As you can tell. Yes. Yes. <sighs> I know. I know. But. I know. I am very thankful that they're all here. Yes. And they're all so happy. They are. Well, one of them's a little not happy. But that's okay. That's nothing new. So uh, we get a little bit of one-on-one time with little Jay, and then it's time to go pick up 
two girls. Yep. So Hannah's like, hey, can I drive? <laughs> she gets a permit. I'm like, yeah, you can drive. No problem. And so she drives to go pick up her sisters. And I ride in the car. Yep. And I'm actually not bad except for when like, I'm not overcorrecting, like sh- unless it's an immediate danger type situation. I'm not like, <gasps> like removing all of the oxygen from the car. No, that's not it. Like, and and to that, the curb slash sidewalk she decided to plow over. I was just like, let's not do that next time. <laughs> she was <laughs> like, I'm never getting my driver's license. I was like, you just you just don't understand yet. Like, how to turn, turn a little up, bit yeah, wider, t- swing wide. You know, yeah. um, yeah, and then. So there was just she some usually things. does pretty good. It's she just does. been a while. It has been a while. And she needed to start out in the neighborhood probably. And y'all went straight to the road. Yeah, to the land of the people. And so then we had we went to... Uh, so before they got home, I was actually working on what we had talked about. And then I went to pick them up. We stopped off at the store, came home. I didn't realize you were working on all of that before, in that time frame. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Um, I was like, oh, yeah. I but you did a lot. I don't know where you found all of that. Yeah. But I made it. Okay. <laughs> I made it. Your ability to make that kind of stuff that fast blows my mind. Okay. I made it. I mean, I bought a template, but I made it. Like you buy I, know. I just bought like the little small template, about. but and, I but you put it into the I other had, software. Yeah, I had to put it all together and fill out what worked for our family and you know, whatever. And then the the language that goes with it. Yep, exactly. Per Per station. Per station, exactly. And so we are teaching our kids what it means to actually clean a space. The tasks that are required to consider a space clean. So I took each particular place that I wanted cleaned and I made a checklist from start to finish. All the way through the house. All the way through the house. and Every room. Every room. Every child is responsible for... A small task and a large task. Yes. Yep. So we have big tasks and small tasks. And so like... Nothing like... It's not like get on the floor and scrub with a toothbrush or get in the tub and scrub. It's not anything like that. Nope. They're responsible for their rooms. Yep. Uh, Little Jay is responsible for his own bathroom because he really is the only one who really uses it. No, us, us and him. Yeah. And then the girls are shifting the bathroom responsibility. Yes. And then I broke the zones of the house down. So kitchen, dining or kitchen air, table area, living room, playroom, entryway. What else? I think that might be it. Laundry. Oh, laundry room. I dogs. Dogs, yeah. Which uh, little Jay is going to be responsible for the dogs. He wants to. He wants to own it. He does want to own it. Yeah. So they each have their own task. And so in every room that you go into, I took uh, the 3M tape strips, Velcro, yep. and put it up on the wall or put it in the bathroom or next to whatever the item is that you're responsible for cleaning so that you can visually see the the where to start, what where to do in the finish. middle, and where you finish. And every single one of those things has to be hit in order for that room to be considered clean. Yep. So there's no and like, then there will be a follow up. Yeah, by the people that ordered it. Yep. Yeah. So, bang. I'm, I'm very excited. And then we went through the drop station with them. This is new this yes. year. The drop so, station's new. I'm going to give you all the credit because you deserve it. Oh. You built two, and she's like the master builder of IKEA furniture. Man, I'm in that phase of my life. That's what I can afford, okay? <laughs> I'm not talking about that. <laughs> but, like, she'll buy something that comes in a, a box, and there will be 97 pieces to it. And I think she truly enjoys sitting down and doing it, because I'll try to help. She, nope, I got it. Although I will have to come back and tighten everything on it. Yes. It's fine. Yes. Because it's just kind of just in there. Mm-hmm. But you do a great job of it. Thank you. Yeah. I bought two entryway, like, 
entryway trees, I guess. I really don't know what to call it, but you can hang like your coats and your purses and your backpacks. It's literally stuff. like a drop station. Yeah. It has a little bench on it. But ultimately, what I appreciate about it is, is they have little drawers. So when it's hat and glove season, scarves, the drawers, whatever. The racks for yeah. their for their Chromebook. Yes, that was a big that was the main reason for this thing is so we're in an IT district. And we all have Chromebooks and they have to be charged. And if the kid's Chromebook doesn't get charged, they get lap on, laps on the playground. It's like a high stress thing. And so, and because we have split environments, I'm like, you know what? I don't. And care. I don't like the disciplinary acts at school. I'm not. Personally. A, I'm not saying I'm just saying the I'm saying. That I understand. So that but he, I, I personally don't like the disciplinary acts. At, I don't want somebody else disciplining our children. I understand. And I also, or making them feel like they did something wrong because they didn't get something done. So we gave them the ability to lose that friction point and have a place to charge stuff. Yes. And not lose recess or whatever. Or not that not lose the charger. Yes. Because or, zip side, or have to pull on. it or have to pull it out of their backpack. So we yep. got everybody a, an extra charger. Yes. So the charging station, all you have to do is put your your Chromebook there and plug it in. And it's set. Yes. And the chargers can't leave because exactly you zip tied zip them tied in. I tied those suckers in. <laughs> so they have one in their backpack. Yep. They also have one at school. Yep. So if they need to go take their Chromebook to their room, they pull the one out of their backpack. Yep. And they plug it in in their room. Yep. They already have one at the school, at the station, at the school. Yep. So they have three chargers. Yes. Ultimately. Yes. I just didn't want them to have to be like, oh my gosh, you know, or take or worry about having to tote a charger from one house to the next. Like, I'm not into that. Like, I'll spend $30, $69, $180 or $140, yep. whatever that math is, to just for chargers. Like, we're good. Like, they're not cheap. They're like $29.99 each on Amazon. I don't care. Yeah. So, and this is not the first time I bought them. All of the chargers I bought last year are gone, which is why they are now zip tied to the power strip. <laughs> yes. So. Yeah, so they, I love it. I think it's perfect. And we went through the whole thing of like, okay, take your charger off of there, put it in your Chrome, put your Chromebook in your backpack. Okay, everybody go outside. Okay, now everybody come back in like you're home from school. Everybody take your backpacks off. Hang up, hang up where, which spot would you like for your backpack? Perfect. Take your Chromebook out, put your Chromebook in on the shelf. And what else are we going to do? We're going to take all of the trash out and put it in the trash. You know what? That reminds me, maybe I need to put a trash can next to the, that probably a good that'd idea. be a good idea yeah we have an extra one we do yeah yep that's a really good idea actually pull the trash out yeah and take your lunch box out mm -hmm. take it to the kitchen yeah. like it's it's important the week prior to school starting in my opinion to start dry running these things yeah that way whenever it comes down to this day of school it's not like oh crap I forgot this or oh crap I forgot that or I need my ID or I need I didn't get my Chromebook it's not in my backpack no yeah. everything's no. right I there. went through everybody's bags and I found all the Chromebooks I plugged them all in you did like I was not I wanted for one okay and then I opened them all up do we have any screens that need to like are broken or, or fading out that need to go to technology like I wanted the kids to be like okay hey look the first day of school i need you to give this to your teacher tell her this is what's wrong with it go to the librarian turn it whatever yep. you know you need to do so that you already know ahead of so you're not opening your chromebook and you're surprised i'm so looking forward to meet the teacher night oh you and me both i'm so excited i just i don't i'm just that i don't know i hope you were enjoying the, like watching me be <laughs> cuz I, I enjoy am. watching you every day thank you and i i told you earlier you surprise me every single day why is that? Why is what? Why do I surprise you? Because you have the ability to have these massive mind shifts behind the scenes. You won't say anything. And you just start doing stuff. And it's not expected What's not expected? It's not expected for you to do any of the things that you do hmm. by anyone. Yeah. So there's no expectations that you have to do these things. You just do them. And you're a fantastic mother. Thank you. And to be quite honest, 
for everybody watching, you're a fantastic role model for everybody watching. Thank you. I, I don't feel like it. I feel like I'm just me. And if I feel like... I know you feel like you're just average. I do. But you're way above average. I do. Thank you. Thank you. And I average love... is just scraping by. No. I all the time put... Average is doing bare minimum. No. I always put these kids first. I think about how maybe they're going to feel when they wake up. Hell, I'm already thinking like Haley's out of her travel coffee cups and she's going to need those. We need to go to <laughs> Sam's. Like, that's what I'm thinking about. Like, yeah. I'm thinking about each one of these kids and what they per <laughs> mind prefer you the, in the morning. Mind you, the coffee cup doesn't get touched and I pull it out of the car and put it into the trash every morning but she is all about making it mm -hmm. but not drinking it yeah well it was so funny because i'll never forget um i'll never forget the whole thing remember that morning she was just so having up like i don't remember i don't know when if she you spilled were with, the coffee i don't know what if it was spilt or what oh yeah she spilled the whole damn coffee cup oh my and God. she had a meltdown i guess the lord just doesn't want me to have coffee today yeah <laughs> If, if you understand this child's personality, you would know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. She's something else. I love her to pieces. But, yeah, I'm very excited. And that's everything that I went through. And I'm very excited for Meet the Teacher and just making sure that they have a phenomenal start to the school year and that they are just as settled and calm as we are. Yeah. And we set the expectations ahead of time. Like, this stuff has to be oh, done. Yeah. So oh, was... and we went as far as they are now. So the littlest ones are turning 10. Yep. So, They're double digits now. So they are all responsible for their own laundry. And so yes. we gave each child a dedicated laundry day. Which is, this is not. These are life skills they're going to have to learn. This is not something that I think parents are doing in oh, their I homes. Know. I realize I'm totally... I'm not the norm on that at all, by any means. I think that it should be something that parents are doing. Yeah. I do. Uh, and especially at this age, because at this age, they are literally, the shift is happening, right? We're going into fourth and we're they going. They start changing classes now. We're going into 10 year olds. We're no longer a single digit number. Mm -mm. Um, that double digit number they're only three years away from being teenagers that double digit number is a double digit number for a long time yeah for the next i don't well, know you don't do, don't math okay. me okay i'm not gonna math at you i'm too tired for that i need to drink more coffee but it's a big change for them mm -hmm. and they need to they need these skills they do but it's not a whole lot for them to do either they only have to worry about their laundry, mind you. Yes. They're, we're not saying you got to take our laundry or your siblings' laundry. Mm -hmm. It's your laundry, okay? Yeah. You know how fast you can do one load of laundry that is about this big in a pile? Right, yeah. Because the clothes aren't large. Right. They're tiny. They're tiny people. And you, all you do is dump your bucket of laundry in there mm -hmm. and then move it from the washer to the dryer to the fold. Yeah. Or put up. Yeah. Like it's three steps, three, steps. three simple steps. Yep. Okay. And if we teach them this now and how to be clean and how to be just organized mm -hmm. and give them these, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? T tools. Okay. We'll use that. If we give them these tools, developmental tools right now, when they are ready to step out into the world on their own and have their own place, they're going to be or functioning roommate, adults or roommate with someone. They're not. It's going to be second nature for them, yes. And they're not going to have the stress in their mind of, "Oh, I got to get this done so I can get to work." Do you know how many adults stress about doing their? And these adults live by themselves, mind you. The ones that I'm going to be speaking about. These adults live by themselves, and they. And I know a lot of people like this, which is sad. But these adults may not. And it's, all right, so I'll retract they live by themselves because a lot of them don't live by themselves. 
Mm. A lot of them still live at home as adults. And they're still having mommy and daddy do their laundry. That's weird. It is weird. I mean, you're 26, 27 years old. You're living at home. Mom yeah. and dad are still doing laundry. They're paying all your bills. And what the hell are you doing? To each their own. I would like, not that I want my kids out, but I want whenever they're ready to go out, they have the tools to go do it. And whenever they're out on their own, whether they have a roommate or they're by themselves or whatever, they're not stressed about getting laundry done so that they can look nice to go into work. It's a time management skill to that. I want them to be comfortable and, hey, I can get up and I can get ready for the day and my house is clean or this, my space is clean or whatever it is. It's organized. And I feel comfortable and I feel clean Mm -hmm. because a comfortable, clean environment and having everything organized and done and put away is a whole different mindset. It is. Than being on the struggle bus and being all of these things. Living out of a laundry hamper. Well, living all of these things, you know, way behind schedule. Yeah. And then, oh, I'll take care of it this week. And being a procrastinator, Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of that later. I'll take care of that later. Yeah. Because that mindset to me gets nothing done and doesn't move forward. They don't progress. It doesn't. No, and they don't. They don't. And ultimately, like, a lot of fights happen roommates wise because like you don't not, clean up after yourself. You don't clean up after yourself or, you know, things are gross or the bathroom or whatever. Like <clears throat> there's just a lot of things that it's like, you know, like let's prep you for basic life skills. Like you go away to college, you're still going to have to know how to do your own laundry. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it, there's just so many things that they need to know how to do. And why not give them the space to learn how to do it safely and confidently while they're still home it just makes the most sense to me and so and then and that's why the lists that i created for each thing is it's like you tell a child to go clean the kitchen that's overwhelming where yeah. do i start what's the first task like where do i put this stuff exactly and so instead of having to teach each and every one of them several several times it's like okay let's break this down i you know let's just can you do the first five things on the list? Let's do the first five. Let's work on just unloading the dishwasher. Right. And putting it where it goes. Right. Yeah. And then, okay, well, what does a clean kitchen mean? Well, it means that first you put away dinner and then you wipe off, the, you know, and then, and then it's to that. It's like, oh, well, I want to sweep. Well, no, you don't sweep until you wipe off the counters. And they're like, well, why? Well, if you're going to wipe off the counters, maybe some of the crumbs are going to go on the floor. And they're like, oh, that makes sense. I'm like, yeah. So there's steps and procedures for everything and a way to do it. And that's that's, that's 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 what you created. Yeah. You created the step by step. I did. Checklist. I did. Of this is how it needs to fall apart or fall together. Yes. And to that, before they even came home, we made sure everything was to the standard. Like we went, we went room by room and we said, do you see how this is now? This is the standard. This is, this is what we're expecting. So this is the list to get to this standard. Yep. Yeah. So I just, and then one of them wanted to pop off with attitude and we had had a conversation about how the, I allow too much. I allow too much. Not, back. not yet, maybe, or just venting from them, you know, or like, I know that I'm their safest, that I am their safest place. So I get all of that because I know that they can't release that anywhere else. So and I, I shut it down like immediately and you were like, I'm so proud of you. And I'm like, I was proud of you for standing your ground mm-hmm. and jumping on it. Yes. Because typically you would have ignored it and mm-hmm. walked away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Again, you continue to amaze me daily because you actually listen and put things in play. Yeah. I didn't say that I wish you would do this. I just pointed out that this is what you do. Mm-hmm. And you took that 
as constructive constructive criticism mm -hmm. and you put it in play on mm -hmm. your own yeah. i didn't demand you do anything no i, I just pointed something out mm -hmm. you did yep so i i'm grateful i'm grateful and I, I just want i want the peace and the joy and the excitement i have to filter over to our children and the only way to do that is for all of us to work together yeah and the only way to do that is set standards and expectations. And so, and this is where the mental work comes in. It's frustration is unspoken expectation. If you are frustrated with your child, did you express your expectation? You did tonight? I did. I sure did. Yeah. And that's where all the mental work and conversations and stuff have come from just internally. And how I was like, okay, you're absolutely right. I need to not only make sure my my expectations are clear and set with you, but clear and set with all of the kids. Everyone in your life. Yeah. Well, not just for, for right now. This is yeah, but yeah, everyone absolutely. But you should hold yourself in high enough regard to put everyone in that place. Absolutely. And yes, I understand. You got to work on some other things and other people that are walking on some things, but yeah. You know, we'll get there. Absolutely. But no, I'm super happy with where we are. And I can't wait for Meet the Teacher. And I can't wait to take, because I love Meet the Teacher because you take all of your school supplies. And yeah, I'm excited. I keep forgetting that I'm camera one and you're three. Oh, that's okay. You'll get it figured out or we will move the uh, the cords. Yeah, and then I'll get used to this. <laughs> and then... Yeah, you'd be okay. I'm gonna put a. Number, You're gonna have to put I'm flags put a on number them. one on your forehead. You're gonna have to put flags on the cameras. Uh, yeah. But I'm excited too about like this set and being able to have multiple people in here and use this as like our podcast stuff or like uh, Zoom calls. Oh, speaking of which, um, I believe that's a 24. Did we have two 24 lenses? I think we do. I think we do. I think we've got two of everything. 224s, 250s, and 216s. Okay. That's millimeter lenses, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of money in this room. Yeah. We even... All right. So back to this room and what we've been through today in this room. And even yesterday. So yesterday, this room got painted, or this wall got painted behind us. You're and a really good cheerleader. You did really good. I know. I'm just saying you're a really good cheerleader. You cheered me on the whole time I did it. I did. <laughs> Honestly, though, like it was so small of a wall to paint that two people on it, it wasn't going to work. Yeah. So. Anyhow. This wall got painted last night. Yeah. We didn't have to move a whole lot of stuff to do it. It really wasn't that bad. Moving mm -hmm. the stuff to paint the wall. It was the reorganization of the room. So we had to pull. Again, we had two desks in here. For the people that haven't watched the podcast. Oh, prior, yeah. That don't know that we had two desks in this room at one time. Yeah. So we pulled a desk out. Mm -hmm. um, and right here is where all of our AV stuff for this entire setup runs too yeah was on this wall mm -hmm. it is now over there on that wall not that they could and it'll be really cool for you like uh what we what we'll probably do when we edit this one is we'll actually go in and i'll take some pictures and you can drop those pictures in for that so people can understand what you're talking yeah. about yeah and so i still have a desk in here you still have a desk in here mm -hmm. your desk just got smaller yeah and then the av table just got shifted which is great because it's underneath. So there's a 55, 60 inch TV that we throw all of this footage up on so we can make sure that, and it's over there. That's what I'm pointing at. Mm -hmm. um, make sure that the shot is clear and camera changes are happening appropriately from here. Because mm -hmm. I operate the, the switcher mm -hmm. via ipad so yeah there's just a lot that goes into this so we have we had a bigger tv actually 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but I had a bigger TV in the garage. And I wanted to be able to see the comments better when we go live. Yes. So did you. Yes. And the one that was in here was only 10 inches smaller, but it makes a difference, it honestly. Does. And the picture on this one is so much clearer. The it clarity clear. on this one. Yeah. This was a more expensive TV. I believe it. <laughs> but it didn't need to be in the garage. No. no. And so... And so to that, that's another we thing. We even changed TVs out today. Yeah. So we started this project of setting all of this up. And I'll tell you right now, it's we're almost an hour into this. We started at midnight on the podcast part. We actually came into this room with all five children yeah, on top of us. And this is not a huge room, but there were all seven of us were in here at one point. And we were working around them, moving yeah. stuff, setting stuff up. Answering questions. Moving TVs, moving the equipment, setting the new equipment up, running all the, re running all of the cabling, the lighting. There's just so much. I can't even explain to you how much goes into all of this. Yeah. Fully reset cameras because of the picture quality. Yep. Updating firmware on cameras. Yep. But we started this at 10 a.m. 10 p.m. tonight. Yeah. Fully broke down, fully reset up. I feel like we did an amazing job to tackle that task in yeah. two hours. I think we did a great job. Especially with the kids in here as well. Yeah. In two hours, we were able to go, okay, let's sit down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm happy. I don't have any complaints at all. And I love the new setup. I love the chairs here instead of there and there. I just, this flows so much better to me. Yeah. I really, really like it. Uh, and we've got more gear to actually set up. So we've got. Well, and I've got, it's not like we, there's not work to do in here. Right. Obviously, I've got to redo the cabling and get trunk lines ran properly. But mm -hmm. we needed to get this done. I have a family emergency that I need to attend to. Yes. So. I'm hoping to get an entire another hour out of tonight. That's good. I could do that. Um, and we can even pause this at an hour and then jump into round two and jump into a that. whole other topic. Yeah, I think we should do but that. But I, I just wanted to explain kind of today's... Oh, yeah. Yep. What, what we've been through today, just alone. <sighs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> And the amount of stuff that we did so quickly. Yeah. And I'm proud of us. Me too. Me too. I think it looks great. I'm super happy. Like I. Like all the way down to just. Everybody coming into the door to now. Like a lot happened. Oh, yeah. I made ribs today. Yep. I Reheated the brisket. Redid the brisket from last night. Mm-hmm. We had mac and cheese. We had veggies. Mm -hmm. We had dinner mm -hmm. at the table as a yes. family again. Yes. And then after dinner, we cleaned up dinner. And then we sat down at the dinner table again. And then we went through everything that we just talked about as far as the chore charts and all of this. And then you and the children went room by room by room, stuck all of those things mm -hmm. that you all you all yep. made on every room and then went through the list again so we sat at the table every child read off their list mm -hmm. and understood exactly what it is what the tasks were and there was not a combative response out of any of them no nope there was no yelling nope there was no yelling from us. There was no. no demands really from us. Nope. There was just set expectations of this is what this house is going to look like. Mind you, we teed this up before they left. We did. I want to make that clear too. We did. We teed this up before they left and we told them, listen, mom and I are working on some things. When we start the school year, right before we start the school year, our household's going to operate a thousand percent differently mm -hmm. because 
we still have to have us. Yeah. And if we are cleaning up after five children 24-7, we don't have time for us. No. And if we're, I'm not trying to say that we don't care about our kids or don't worry about our kids because we still care for them. We still do things with them. We do things for them. We do yeah. things with them. We're active in their sports. We're active in their schools. Yeah. We're active in their daily life. We're active in their school life after work. Yep. So we're very active in their lives. And there should be respect for that. And the respect for that, in our opinion, and I get that this is not everybody's opinion, but the respect for that, in our opinion, is they do their part in our home. Yeah. But they're, they're learning how to care for the spaces of which they occupy. Yes. The, and they were like, well, does this include y'all's room and y'all's bedroom? No. And and I said, they didn't say it like they had attitude. It was just a genuine question because we didn't address it. Right. Like we only addressed the spaces of which they occupy. And I was like, nope. But it was a, a, a legit question. It was. For them. Yeah. And I get it, but no. Yeah. And then. No, we... our bedroom, our bathroom, that's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. This room's our responsibility. And that's only. And even past that, I know. And you know already that we'll help them complete the other task. Oh, yeah. And we'll help them walk them through it because yes. it's not going to be perfect. It's not. And we're going to go in there and go, look, maybe you didn't understand this portion of this. Yep. So let me show you how to do it to what the expectation is. Mm -hmm. Don't mind sitting in here with you. Right. If you need me to kind of coach you through mm -hmm. whatever it is yep whether it's you need to clean your toilet or you need to wipe down your shower or whatever it is yeah you don't know how to what chemical to spray on what i mean there's there's gonna yeah, be questions there's gonna be questions for sure and i don't even mind going through and creating um like labels for the cleaning products so they know what goes where yeah i don't even mind doing that like i know that sounds crazy but it's like not really. I mean, they're kids. They're kids. They're gonna maybe. They they're gonna maybe forget, or you know, like, and that's that sense of independence, right? Like, I can read. She put a label on that for me. I know what goes where, you know. Instead of being like, oh, I don't know, let me go ask mom. Like, nope. And it's not that I don't want them to come ask me questions. It's that true sense of independence, so well, that then, they feel confident. Our kids are different, though. What do you mean? Our kids have that independence built in already mm -hmm. and they try to go ahead and handle it on their own before they come to us yeah the at to their best ability before they ask a question even if that means toilet bowl cleaner goes in the sink yeah <laughs> it doesn't matter they're gonna try it they're gonna try it yeah so that's probably not a bad idea and then i probably need to get like cleaning supplies that stay in each bathroom i think that's a good start like a too bucket thing. like a little bucket that's like that way it's just like it's it's, it's already there. in here. It's dedicated to this space. You're good to go. Yeah. That way they're not having to hunt cleaning supplies down. And then the the specific cleaning supplies for the kitchen because the, the glass cooktop takes a cleaner. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. But and then. Yeah. So we've had housekeepers in the past. Yeah. I, I, Why do we I, need housekeepers? I am weird in the fact that I don't want to be home when the housekeeper's here. I don't know if that's the average. I, I don't know. I don't like being here when the housekeeper's here. It makes me feel like an entitled, snobby, rich person, and that's not who I am. And I don't feel like having a maid or a servant or something like that. And it's like, if you're cleaning, I should be cleaning. And I am more than capable of cleaning. Yeah, but if I hire, if I'm hiring somebody to do it, they're going to do it. Right. I understand that mindset too. So but it's like, I can work. I can. So for me, my time's valuable. Sitting behind the desk, knocking shit out. Yeah. And I'll, I'll leave whenever it's time for them to come into my space. Oh, uh, okay. Like you can have the house. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I'll yeah. close the door when you need in here. I'll move to another room. Yeah. And that's typically how. It, right. Like I would address. It. Right. Well, and to that, like little Jay hasn't been responsible to clean a space until recently because you, that's how you handled it. Yeah. Like he just, you know, well, he was at school and when they came. Yeah. So he wasn't really 
wasn't responsible for the and so this is a new skill yeah so yeah the girls however have been my helpers for many many years so but they're awesome and they're all going to teach each other and learn and i'm proud of all of them yeah but i don't want to enable it enable them just because we can afford something right they're capable of doing it. Absolutely. And they need to learn because they are not going to be able to afford with the cost of living. They're not going not to be Not right able. out of the gate. And they need to know how to clean up after themselves and not be slobs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then we even like, so we even put in that we even talked about, I restocked bathrooms too. That was the other thing I did when yep. I was deep cleaning. I went through and threw away all toothbrushes, toothpaste, everything, everything, razors, all of it. I was like whoosh, wiping this stuff clean. And so each, each kid got, you know, their own color razor or their own deodorant, own color deodorant, hairbrush, whatever. Mm-hmm. Everything is very distinguishable. Yep. Of whose is what? And, uh, yeah, I even went as far as to do that to make sure everything is like, nope, we're, we're starting over. Yep. Yeah. And again, you're an amazing woman. Thank you. An amazing mother. Thank you. People don't do what you do. And I know you think differently of people, but I people, do. people just don't. I do. And I'm going and did you, to offend did people. Did you know, and I didn't, I didn't know this until um, I worked in the urgent care clinic when I was doing the lab, when I was a lab technician. I'm just going to give you this tidbit of information if you're a mom and you don't know this. Every time your child has strep, you need to replace their toothbrush. Yes. Or cold. Yeah. Or the flu. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not that our kids were sick. They just. No. Yeah. But it's important to replace your toothbrushes. Yes. So anytime your child has specifically the strep, like, and I did not know this, but you. um, Unless you have some sort of sanitary device, like an ozone machine that you can throw something in to. To clean it. Yeah. It's totally different. But. I mean, you can go get a 99 cent toothbrush. Yeah. You know, like you don't have to go spend $50 on a toothbrush, but what, or, you know, or just replace the head if it's an electric one, whatever. But that was one. I was like, what? My mom never taught me that. Like, you know, like as parents, there's a lot of shit out there that we just don't know because it wasn't passed down. It wasn't taught to us as parents. And so like, yeah, that's a little nugget of information for you. If your child has strep, um, Replace their toothbrush. Yeah. Crazy. Is it? I don't know. To me, it was. It was crazy information for me to learn, which is why I replace their freaking toothbrushes so often. Yeah. Not that, like I said, not that any of them are. Oh, and then the other thing to get ready for school was like, all right, time to stock up on vitamins. Like, let's get their, you know. Let's get airborne. Let's, let's get, get them vitamins. Let's, let's get, get them, Yeah, let's get them let's boosted get up. Let's get the sleep stuff mm-hmm. so they go bed. Yep. Yeah. We're starting, yeah. Off. We're starting off right. It's not yeah. like it's our first rodeo. No, not at all. I'm so excited for Meet the Teacher. I am too. I hope they have the same teacher. I feel like a I feel like the lame mom that's like, it's my kid's first year of kindergarten and buys like everything, you know? Like I don't go crazy on the school supply list anymore, but that's how excited I am. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I'm excited to get on a new PTO board. I'm excited to meet them and be and figure out what my role is going to be and where to what I can do to help. And you also said that you were excited about picking out their outfits for the first day of school. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited. So for that too. the first day of school, I think it's going to be special this year and different than normal. Because mm-hmm. we'll get up and we'll get them all ready mm-hmm. and dressed mm-hmm. nice mm-hmm. to go in for the first day of school. So yep. they're not bullied for wrinkly clothes or matted hair or whatever, whatever the case may be. I know. And we have them. We don't. We have two of them. We do have two. So. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't have them last year either. It's okay. The best thing I can do the honestly Honestly, and I mean this, I would much rather have them for meet the teacher than the first day of school. Yeah. Because I get to meet that teacher. I get to shake the teacher's hand. First day of school, you're not allowed to go in that building. No, you're not. 
So I would first day of school, you're kicking them out, and they got to go in on their they own. They have to go in on their own, yeah, because of the security protocols. Now that the schools, you know, eat. and I hate that these kindergarten mamas don't get that anymore. You know, they don't get to go and watch their little kindergartner sit in their seat for the first time, or it's just it breaks my heart because like Harley, like for her, I got that. Yeah. And then COVID happened, and then now all the crazy security protocols. You know, like. And so now meet the teacher. Like I honestly would much rather go to meet the teacher and see her be like, okay. Because the first day of school, it's not like I'm going to get that. Yeah. So I would much rather have them for meet the teacher, which we do. We do. And I'm okay with that. Yeah. So onward and upward. As Kid Craddock says, keep looking up because that's where it all is. That's a good saying. Yeah. So I guess I have one more question before we close. Shoot. What is it that you would like to do for Meet the Teacher Night? What do you mean? Like, obviously, we're going to go do Meet the Teacher Night. Mm -hmm. So what is it that stands out? to you that you want to specifically make sure you're doing at meet the teacher night i like for each of the different schools yeah okay so the high school we've already done meet the teacher that was a very that was an interview process for acceptance i've already met um the entire staff for the high school that's for our oldest um that was that was a God answered prayer that we got her into that campus. I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed, made lots of phone calls, lots of emails. And I think that they just accepted her and they like, shut this lady up. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a God answered prayer. So we've already met all of the staff there. Super excited. And then, so middle school is, I really just want, not that I'm probably, because I think for schedule pickup and walk the campus, I don't think you meet the teachers. It's more or less for the children to get antiquated with the actual the layout. Yeah. yeah. And so for me, for that child, it's really just like, who do you know? How excited are you? Like, you know, how, where are all your classes? Like, that's really for me. And don't we have like a sports? We do. Yeah. So she is in the like higher ranking of athletics, super athletic kid, super smart child, uh, very strong willed bullheaded kid. Uh, very excited for her this year. She is uh, phenomenal. She's taking all honors classes this year on top of maxing out her uh, athletic abilities and then for the <laughs> and then <laughs> and then for the littles i ultimately am excited because they're going to learn the layout lay of the land at the new campus and they are going to for me meet the teacher is i want to meet the core teacher and then the secondary teacher so i think they only switch classes two times this year what are you doing Keep going. What are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, Checking my notifications. Oh, I'm and so I want to meet both teachers. I want to know if most of the time they are able to tell you like their schedule of their day, and so then I will put that in my calendar, and so mm-hmm. I know where they are throughout the day or where yep. they should be at least. So if I'm scheduling a doctor's appointment for each of the children, I know what they potentially could be missing. That's important for me. I need sure. to know that. And then I need to know when lunch is going to be. And I like to meet the teachers and I like to tell them everything special about my child. So everything special about my child or children would be we are a the biggest thing that I like that I start off with for the girls. This has been very important as a blended family. You've got to be upfront with your teacher to tell them what is going on in home life. Yes. You have to tell them what's going on in your home life. You don't have to dump the whole backstory or how much you hate your ex or what they did or any of that. No. But what you need to do is you need to provide the teacher with context of one week she dresses like this and the next week she dresses like this. I don't understand. Or 
One week she's eating her lunch. One week she's pickup. Like whatever your situation is, go into that and be open and honest with your teacher. Pull them aside, write them an email, say, hey, I've got some special circumstances. I'm going to follow this conversation up with an email. I really don't want to go over it with everybody here in the classroom. Right. Or whatever it may be. Me, on the other hand, I don't care who knows. Matter of fact, the more people that know, the less awkward it is for her, for the little kid. You know, yeah. like I don't want her to feel insecure about her home life situation. I'm not insecure about it. No, so she shouldn't be. And so that's what that's one of the main things is I go in and I go straight for the teacher. I introduce myself. I introduce you. I let them know, hey, you know, you're not going to see me the first day of school. I'm not the one dropping her off. We are a 50 50 household. She's with the other parent 50% of the time. I need, and then I set out what exactly it is I need from her. Hey, I need two copies of everything, if and preferably in email. And, you know, I like, I lay it all out. And then I'm like, hey, I know this is a lot of information. I appreciate your time. I will follow this conversation up with an email just so that you have it. And I, out of the last three years, have never had a negative response to that. Nope. So, the teachers appreciate it from my understanding. They do. Yes. And so, and then. As they should. As they should. And to that, because things are a lot different now, I take uh, to the principal's office and to the school guidance counselor, I take the final divorce decree so that everybody knows where everybody stands. Yep. It's a pretty, um, pretty important thing. It very much is. Yeah. So I highly recommend that if you've got special circumstances for your kiddo, be open and honest with everyone who comes in contact with your kid. Perfect. That's, and it has worked. It has worked. And I think, I think my, that advice that I gave you last year really made a difference. It did. It did. Yeah. It made everyone aware of everything. And I think it did nothing but benefit the kids because it allows the teacher without hesitation to go, are you with mom or dad this week? Right. You know, it's an immediate already. Yeah. There. Yeah. And then the kid's like, oh, okay, good. She, she knows. Okay. You know, yeah. so yeah. And I don't talk negatively about the other side when it's meet the teacher time because the kids there with you, right? That it's part, that's part of meet the teachers, the kids with you. I just, and then the other part is, is I'm like, don't call me because you're second guessing where she's going after school. She knows where she's going. Let her tell you where she's going and let her be confident in that. That was another issue in the very beginning. I'm like, stop calling me. Just trust her. She, <laughs> she knows, knows. She knows what you're supposed to get she on. She knows. Or yes. Where or to go activity or, or whatever is going on. She knows. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do said that because the teachers like to panic a little bit. You think? Yeah. Well, they don't want to get it wrong. Could you imagine like. No, they don't want to get it wrong. They don't want to put a kid in the wrong no. place or in the wrong vehicle or yeah. send them to the wrong apartment or yeah. whatever it is yeah for sure all right well let's uh let's close this one out okay uh, i am gonna say this one more time because <laughs> this weekend has been absolutely amazing because of you all oh my and gosh, by the yes. time you see this we're already into a next weekend a second week <laughs> We're into next weekend by the time you guys see this, so yeah. we'll be in a different place. But just think about this while you're watching it. The prior weekend from you watching this actual episode, we hit organically 40, 40 followers. 40 subscribers, yeah. Subscribers and 100 hours of total watch time across our content. That's phenomenal. We, just, we share these tidbits of analytics with you guys so you guys understand how much we love and value you guys and how much we just genuinely get super excited by just one of you. So we so, have no paid ads for any of this. No, we are not getting paid for any of this. As you can probably tell when you're watching our content, because yes. there's no ads in our content. Yeah. They don't put ads in your content until you hit a thousand. You right. also are not, eligible to get paid until you hit a thousand subscribers well, and we can't go did you just hit the live part we can't go live mm. until we or not live the super chats or something oh yeah 
the super chats which is where well, you all can actually a... communicate with us and stuff well yeah directly mm-hmm. and communicate directly to us yeah and then we can read them directly oh yeah like live like yeah instantaneously so yeah so i've already got i've already been thinking about what you just said i've got the entry to the next podcast for the next one because we're going to record these back to back so thank you for the like subscribe and the view hours and if you guys have any type of content suggestion for us or a topic you'd like to hear our viewpoint on it's us at everydaymomentsforus.com and we are everyday moments on every platform instagram tiktok facebook and, and youtube yep All right. Thanks for tuning in. Come follow us. Bye, guys. Feed me out, baby. All right.